Natisha, our Miss Brooks coming to you from not Brentwood, Tennessee, not Mount Pleasant. No, I haven't arrived to Dallas yet. Natisha in the mix. WXRQ 1460 AM Radio Christian Radio. I am coming to you from Marshall, not Tennessee. I'm in Marshall, Texas, everyone. You radio listeners, you 1460 AM radio dial. Natisha and the mix. Natisha Armis Brooks. I am in Marshall, Tennessee. It was requested. I have found out that it was anonymous. We have no clue, people. Absolutely no clue who left the message. But we know that we are discovering our destinations. And so people are calling in, sending their messages. And here it is, right outside of Gilmer, Texas, about 45 minutes away from where I grew up. Yamboree is going on. We just got done with the coronation ball. And so I am so excited to introduce to you the next two guests. Uh, the Roseville Bed and Breakfast. Everyone knows I do not stay in hotels. I'm looking for those bed and breakfasts, the best pizza in the world, the best barbecue in the world. You know, I left Amsterdam. We found a, a bed and breakfast in Amsterdam. No, this is Christian radio. I did not go for the marijuana. Believe me, I didn't, people. I, I know what you're thinking. I didn't go for the marijuana. Amsterdam, bed and breakfast. Look that up. If you're traveling outside the country, this is where you need to stay for your bed and breakfast. But we are here in Marshall, not Tennessee. Don't get it mixed up. Marshall, Texas. And I'm at the Roseville Bed and Breakfast. Hey, y'all know how we do it. We start off with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty. Liberty, 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 liberty. With liberty and justice. It is justice if you go vote, people. Early voting has started in Georgia. You must vote. Early voting has started in Tennessee. You must vote if you want the country to be the way you want it to be. And liberty and justice for all. Our scripture for you today, Philippians 419, for our God shall supply all our needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. He will supply your needs to get here to Marshall, Texas, Roseville. And we have already got some people messaging us. I just found out that someone has rung Miss Virginia to find out how can she stay for Christmas. Too bad, people. I've already booked. I've already booked my room through Miss Virginia, but you can stay. Find out. Call. We'll give you the number in just a second. Uh, and our prayer. Let's just do the Lord's prayer for today. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespassers as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, and forever. Amen. Our fashion report, which is the weather report for you. Natisha Armis Brooks is in overalls today. Beautiful, beautiful weather in Marshall, Texas. I know, I left Tennessee, it was 25 degrees. I have nothing to do with the weather, people. You need to talk to God about that. I know it's 25 degrees, I know you were covering up, but I'm not 25 degrees in Marshall, Texas. Beautiful 81 degrees here. So, you know, I'm sorry in Tennessee, upper north, panhandle to Cumberland, you had to put on coats and blankets. We didn't have to. We woke up to beautiful weather. Here in Texas, you're looking at 60s to 80s, depending on where you are. I see you in Virginia, the Commonwealth state. It was cold for you guys. I'm sorry. I know y'all are trying to stretch it out on your heat bill. I have nothing to do with it. We told you to save, be good stewards of your money, be fiscally responsible, because it will be. I promise you this. I don't. It's going to be a, a, a tough winter, people. Winterize your house. Winterize your car. Go ahead and get it done. That is your fashion report. Sponsored to you by CNC Antiques. Tell Miss Brooks sent you. They're in Mount Pleasant. This segment is also sponsored to you by Cedar Grove Inn Bed and Breakfast, Lebanon, Tennessee. Tell Miss Kim that Natisha Brooks sent you and the Masters Academy. If you need a tutor or for your homeschool needs, 615-948-5993. This is your place so that you do not have to strangle your children. We know spare the rods for the child, but not like that. 
call 615-948-5993. Natisha in the mix sent you. And then finally, for this segment, Tish the Dish. Okay, let's get into it. In 90 seconds, we are going to tell you how to cook a dish that you need to, hey, got to get that dinner on the table, got to get that lunch on the table, got to get that brunch on the table. Love it. This Tish the Dish comes segment comes by Miss Kim. Miss Kim Cedar Grove Inn and Breakfast. I know you're listening to me. I watched you watch those, not Rice Krispies. She made Corn Flake Krispies. So you take the same Rice Krispie recipe, and I, I don't use off-brand. Just go ahead and use Kellogg's, people. Kellogg's Rice Krispies. And instead of using Rice Krispies, use Corn Flakes. Melt the butter, melt, do your marshmallows, stir it up with Rice Krispies. But I'm gonna add something just a little bit different because Miss Kim does bacon in the morning. Every single morning she does bacon. So take the Rice Krispie mixture and then chop up, crumble up some bacon. Now you're not gonna be able to keep this long, but we wrap the bacon around the Rice Krispies. So Tish the Dish, Natisha, we're gonna make this our own recipe. Take the Rice Krispie recipe, change it out for the Corn Flakes. Rice Krispies, put Corn Flakes in it, mix it up together, put that crumbled bacon in together, put it on the balls, put it on your parched paper, Man, that is some good stuff. Tish to Dish segment is sponsored to you by Cedar Grove Inn. Lebanon, Tennessee, bed and breakfast. Tell Miss Kim that Natisha sent you. Don't stay. The best room is probably the country room when it's not booked by me. Our sports report. And by the way, Natisha in the mix is Tiffany Boyd. Don't avoid the Boyd. She will find it out and she will call it out. Hey, Vince Cuevas, VC of Veteran That Cares, and Jaden Falls, Ball With Falls. That sports report. Hey, Gilmer, Texas, I see you. We are 6-0, and oh, heading back to the state. I can feel it. I'm in Gilmer at least once a month, people. I just don't tell anybody. That sports report on Dallas Cowboys, that you lost to Philadelphia. That's okay. Philadelphia is number one in NFC East. Don't worry. Come back, kid. But our question of the day. Tom Brady, I know y'all are tired of me talking about Tom Brady. Tom Brady, how old do you need to be to play sports? Is there an age limit? He's in his 40s. He was yelling at his team the other day. Ah, he was yelling at his offensive line. I'm not feeling that, Tom Brady. You got five, six Super Bowl rings. Your wife is at home. The question of the day is, how much do you need as a sports athlete to retire. Do you retire and unretire? How much does one need to make you happy? That is our sports question. Hook me up, Natisha in the mix, 01 at uh, gmail.com. We read your comments, we cherish your comments. Tom Brady, is he too old to play the game? Is his patience? I've never seen Tom Brady yell on the sideline. What's happening, people? I don't know. Is the age catching up with him? How old is, should there be an age limit on playing in the NFL? I don't know. I don't know. For me, the older I get, the younger I feel and the more patience I have. It comes with wisdom. That's if you're in the Lord. WXRQ 1460 AM Christian Radio. That is the question for the day. We gave you the Tish to Dish, the weather report. And now we're getting to the most interesting part of our segment. You asked for it, the anonymous person out there. And here it is. I'm at Roseville, the most breathtaking view I can look at, right? I'm looking across the street. I see there traffic. There's one car. We're not in Atlanta. There's two cars. This is a beautiful, we ate lunch on the patio. I cannot wait until you see the commercials of the videos that we're about to upload to you. It is the most awesome, awesome place outside of Gilmer, Texas. When I drove up, I got to set the landscape for you. When I drove up and I'm driving down the driveway, if everyone knows where we live in Gilmer, Texas, it's the same kind of driveway of my home. I felt like I was turning into my home. It was totally, totally awesome. And we got so much to cover, so little time to talk. So let's get right into it. I am here 
with the owners. Miss Virginia, her husband, owners of the Roseville Bed, I want to say Country Club Bed and Breakfast, because that's the way it feels to me. Introducing to some, many may not know, but you will know, 7.2 million radio listeners, you will know there's other places to go besides Disney. There's other places to go, people, besides Destin. There's other places to go. Our job at Natisha in the Mix, we want you to find those destinations that you can get away from, those hidden jewels, if you will. This is a, you can have a wedding out here, people. You can have a family reunion. Now, everybody can't stay here. If you got a big family like me, we're going to have to put you up somewhere else. But this place is totally awesome. I am introducing to you the Miss Virginia. Hello, Miss Virginia. How are you? Hello. I am very good. I am so excited and excited to have got that and received that message. We were in Antioch, Tennessee, when we got this message that, Miss Brooks, since you're looking for that bed and breakfast, have you heard of Roseville Bed and Breakfast in Marshall, Texas? You're just down the street from me, Miss Virginia. I know. I how can't believe you haven't seen us. How have I not seen you? Yeah, I don't know. And how long have you been here, Miss Virginia? 20 years. Tw 20 years. And I don't know about this. I've been s staying in hotels. I will drive two hours for a good bed and breakfast. As a matter of fact, Miss Virginia, I'm getting ready to leave here after our interview and drive two hours to see the game. That says a lot if I'm willing to drive to Paris, Texas, two hours, and then drive two hours back. <laughs> that says a lot. Miss Virginia, tell us about your Roseville Bed and Breakfast. How did you get started? What made you get into this business? Well, we had to move from uh, Shreveport because uh, the airport brought our, bought our property, and we had never had a bed and breakfast, so we thought that would be fun. So here we are. We started this, bought the house and renovated it for a bed and breakfast. And we have three bedrooms um, and a cottage behind the house. Three bedrooms and a cottage. Calm down. You know what we do at uh, Natisha in the Mix. Calm down. Snap the fingers. Calm down. We're going to get all of the commercial and videos to you. So, and yes, we've already got so many uh, calls. Miss Brooks, the website, and I'm just going to tell you this, Miss Virginia, from the bottom of my heart. The website does not do justice for in person. You have got to see this in person. That's why we're going to do the video. Don't worry. I got you. Natisha in the Mix got you. We're going to upload the videos. You can play it back slowly and you can enjoy and pick the room that you want. Miss Virginia, I noticed the rooms are named certain names. I see a Jacob, a Jenna. Can, can you tell us about the naming of the rooms? Those are grandchildren uh, names. We named all the bedrooms after grandchildren. We ran out of rooms, so we named dining rooms also after the grandchildren. Did y'all hear that? The Bible says, WXRQ 1460 AM Christian Radio, the Bible says, Blessed are those that are able to see their children's children. That means grandchildren. And blessed are those that prepare for their children's children children that's what the good book says and it sounds like she has prophetically prepared for her grandchildren by naming the rooms after her grandchildren and now the dining rooms after the grandchildren miss virginia if you can tell us a little bit about uh, the bathrooms i'm a bathroom person you have to pay attention to the bathrooms i actually fell asleep and i know this is dangerous do not do this it's dangerous to fall asleep in the bathtub, people. It's not a good thing. But I fell asleep in the bathtub yesterday, woke up, and I was like, gosh, that was a two-hour nap. That felt so good. Tell us about the selection of your bathtubs. Did you do that? Did your husband do it? Tell me about the bathtubs in the rooms. Okay, when we bought the house, it had one bathroom. So we had to do bathroom construction. So two bathrooms have uh, clawfoot tubs. One is a old iron clawfoot tub. Beautiful. And the one Letitia had is a, 
an acrylic, but it's a slipper back tub. Yes. And it's very, very comfortable. Oh, very comfortable yeah. and amazing, ex amazing therapeutic experience, people. Believe me. I want to get back to the airport right quick. The airport bought your property. Right. So y'all lived close to the airport. Yeah, we weren't terribly close, but there was nothing between the airport and us, and they wanted to extend their runways. It was really for noise abatement. Okay. So we bought most of the houses on our street. Is that right? And we moved here closer to our daughter. Okay. And it's worked out very well. And how many children do you have? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. a two, girls, boys? Two boys and a girl. Two girls no, and a boy. Know. Well, uh, let's talk about the children for a second. Um, the children live close, right? Mm-hmm. And so do they come and just say, I'm going to stay over in one of my children's rooms? <laughs> do they do that? They do like to do that. Yes. They, uh, they call and want to come over and just hang out for the night. Is that and right? tomorrow night, they're all coming for Melvin's birthday. And Melvin? we'll sit around the fire pit. And, that, uh, and that's something I want to talk to you about. Today is Mr. Melvin's birthday. He's 83 years old young and guess who the chef was this morning it was mr mel the eggs uh, don't worry we're about to get to his interview in just a second the most scrumptious y'all know i'm a big i used to not be a breakfast person but i've noticed those of you that are following us eating breakfast in the morning actually curves your appetite throughout the day it actually helps you lose weight so now i'm a big breakfast person and they're under construction with the kitchen. I don't know why they had to reconstruct the kitchen because it's absolutely gorgeous in here. But tell us, Miss Virginia, and then I'm going to move on to Mr. Mel. Tell us about the construction of the kitchen. What are we doing? Well, we needed a new sink and faucet. Okay. So I figured if we're going to do that, we may as well get new countertops. Oh, okay. And then if you're going to do that, you may as well paint the kitchen, you know. Okay. The, the cabinets and the walls. Right, right. So that's what we have done. So speaking of painting, I learned something today. And I am a woman of the South. Everyone knows I'm a Southern Belle and I don't apologize for it. I will not. I am from the South and I'm proud to be from the South. But I learned something from today. And everyone knows that when Natisha leaves the earth at 108 years old, <laughs> that on my gravesite I have requested, do not put my name on the grave tomb. I don't want my name. I just want this question. What did you learn today? I learned today that if you paint, what is this? The roof, the ceiling. The ceiling. Listen to me yet so carefully, people. If you paint the ceiling, Outside, Mr. Mel says, sky blue, you won't get spiders. Is that true? I, I've never heard that. You do not get spiders. You don't get bird nest. What? They'll fly under here and they think this is the sky and they fly on out someplace else. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? That was back. People did that in the Civil War. They started painting the porches. Robin Egg Blue, it's called. Robin Egg, write this down. Robin from the dollar twenty-five. Mm -hmm. I know it's not a dollar tree anymore. I mean, it's inflation. I have nothing to do with it. You gotta go vote. <laughs> uh, Robin, what now? Egg. Robin Egg Blue. That's what color Robin eggs are. Okay, okay, Robin Egg Blue. I'm looking at a, it's like, and sky blue happens to be my favorite color, <laughs> but I'm looking at this, you, spiders, they think it's the sky. I have never heard that. I have learned something today. That is absolutely wonderful. So I'm talking with the chef now. I'm switching for a second. I'm talking with the chef. Eggs, bacon, fruit. Watch when you see the video. I got him on video this morning. Um, 83 years young he gets around better than i do i mean i was and you get the you get your breakfast warning because i came down the hall i actually overslept i did not hear my alarm and i heard breakfast i got up <laughs> i usually make up my bed but i wash my face got myself together and then i come out and there he is in the kitchen slicing the fruit bananas cantaloupe i mean the experience you need to hear what i'm saying my christian friends 
My Christian friends and family, the two F's, friends and family, my Christian friends and family, I'm asking you to go outside your comfort zone. Stop bragging that you stayed at the Ritz. This is better than the Ritz Hotel. He's preparing your breakfast. And this is what just, now y'all know I'm looking for the top 15. I know he's going to be, Roseville going to be in the top 15. And it's not because I'm from East Texas. I'm going to tell you why. This was the very first experience I had, and I loved it. I hope they continue it. He prepared breakfast. I'm going to wait for his response. And then Virginia and Matt, they sat down at the table with me. That warmed my heart. I was like, that's fat. Because everybody knows my kids are grown. They're outside the house. They've got their own lives. And it was just so amazing to see them sit down at the table. And the table was set. Everyone says set. Set. Say it again. Those of you that are driving in your cars, set. S-E-T. I know, my country accent. The table was set. Look at the coffee mug. It was absolutely gorgeous. But I'm going to switch this interview for a second because Puffy Muffin, Miss Hop, <laughs> this is for you. Mr. Mel, tell us what you have. I have two cups that came from the Puffy Muffin in Brentwood, Tennessee. Where I live. They are clear green and has Puffy Muffin on it. And they're the same size cup all the way down, like, not like regular cups. But I have two green ones, and one person is allowed to drink out of the green cup. <laughs> <laughs> That's Melvin. Melvin, okay. <laughs> Do you drink out of that? You drink out of that cup every day? Every day. I can't wait to tell the owner that she's going to see the commercial, she's going to see the picture. This is. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is because the Bible says, 1460 AM radio, WXRQ Christian radio. I'm going to go serious for a second. The Bible says, when we come together, two or more agree. The universe agreed for me to be here. Let me tell you why. I'm from Brentwood, Tennessee, right outside Nashville. He has a cup from... It was meant to be what God has for you. It's going to happen, and there's nothing you can do about it, people. Absolutely nothing. Do you know when I get up every single morning, I pray, Lord, bring me to the people that I need to see, and they need to see me. When he showed me the cup, I've got the evidence. It'll, I, we have the evidence, people, of Puffy Muffin. I said this was meant for us to be in Roseville. But I want to get a, I want to get from that for a second. Guess what else we have in common, Mr. Mel? What do we have? You were a principal. I sure was. Talk to me about that. I was principal in Shreveport. Shreveport. Had the largest elementary in Shreveport. Had yeah. 1,150. 1,150. Uh, and 66 of the finest teachers that they've made in America. Made in America, Miss Virginia. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. They were six of those people I taught in the fifth and sixth grade. Wow. Had a PE teacher that I taught him, and in the fifth grade, I could tell Jack, uh, he'd come up to the desk and he'd say, Miss McConnell, it's time for me to take him outside. What are y'all going to do today? Well, I read in the P.E. book last night about upper body development, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, so he had them climbing pegs in the wall to strengthen their arms and everything, and below about 8 or 10 feet was a concrete slab. And I said, Jack, what are you going to do if one of them falls and breaks their neck on the concrete? Remember, I taught him in the fifth grade, and he says, you remember that man told me in the fifth grade, if they fell off of the monkey bars and broke their arm, you don't have to worry about it because they won't ever get up there and break their arm again. <laughs> oh, goodness. So, 
you come she didn't you, know she was getting all this i love it i love it so from education to bed and breakfast airport your house you sold your house to the airport uh and for those of you radio listeners all 50 states 112 countries so marshall texas is not we're right here close to shreveport so when people ask me where is gilmer where is marshall i start a little backwards i say dallas everybody knows where dallas is tyler yeah most people are starting to know longview and then i say gilmer marshall so shreveport is about how far from here would you say yeah it's about an hour drive about an hour drive from shreveport so usually when i fly in to come home to gilmer i usually either fly into Shreveport or Dallas, which is whichever is cheaper. So when you moved and you uprooted from Shreveport, Mr. Mel and Miss Virginia, what do you miss the most about Shreveport that you brought to Marshall, Texas? What did you bring lessons learned that you brought to Marshall, Texas? Well, I... I think we've always been pretty much the same way we are over. We just do a lot more things here. Okay. But we went to church there. We went to church in Longview here. Okay. Uh, And things are just... We're not in town, so we're out. We had five acres in Shreveport, and we have ten over here. So I had all of my... I call it my stuff. A uh, hundred chickens. Yes. Two horses, okay. cow, three goats. There you go. There you go. Miss Virginia, what's the best part of the bed and breakfast? If you could say it in 30 seconds. Come visit Roseville Bed and Breakfast because... Oh, because we have just really built, you know... Uh, I think a really special place here. Yes. It's, it's comfortable. Yes. You can relax. Yes. It's not, you know, where you can't touch anything. Yes. But it's just, uh, a, I guess it's maybe a farmhouse uh, look. Yes. And uh, so it's just a comfortable day. What do you enjoy best about uh, working the bed and breakfast? What's your favorite part? about the bed and breakfast i guess the favorite part is the people coming in you know we have baby and bridal showers and those are yes. always fun they're happy occasions baby and bridal mm-hmm. showers and every then, weekend and we, every weekend wow that's amazing yeah we meet lots of neat people you know overnighters but yeah. that's been really a highlight a hot, good and what about for you if you could tell us what's your favorite part about working the bed and breakfast well my favorite part is what we're doing right here. Yes. Uh, visiting with people that we get to learn a lot about other things. And I I have a lot of fun. I know that I stay busy, but I try to make enough time for me to sit down at the breakfast table and visit with people. Yes. And, uh, and I noticed you I have... I like to talk. Uh, <laughs> we have to Even though I'm bashful. <laughs> I noticed you have a cookbook. We have about 30 seconds left. Tomato pies and other secrets. Roseville Bed and Breakfast, you have a cookbook. What is the favorite recipe out of this cookbook that most people say this is it? What's your, because since you're the chef. The name of the cookbook is Tomato Pies. Tomato Pies, there it is. And that's the most Every meal, almost, that we've ever served here, we did tomato pies. It's a southern thing, people, a tomato pie. And they will say, they'll come to the door and they'll ask me, did you do tomato pies for us for lunch today? Oh. And, I, and I'll and i joke and tease and I'll say, no, I didn't think you liked those things, so I didn't do any. Oh. And they'll say, blank. You have 10 minutes to get them ready while we do our coffee. <laughs> and so to wrap up this segment. We do those at every, every, every meal. Every meal. Did y'all hear that? Every meal. And so to wrap up this segment, which room is the room that sells the most? That when people come, what, what is the room that most people like? Or is it the cottage? 
the, the Jacob room and the cottage. The kinda, Jacob room and the cottage. They kind of run neck and neck. Ne <laughs> they're on top, folks. Yeah. The Jacob room and the cottage. This is Natisha and the Mix. 01gmail.com. I am here with Mel and Miss Virginia. This is a must destination. You hear the phones are ringing. Phones are ringing, people. It's a must destination. Thank you, Miss Virginia. Thank you, Mel, for this interview, this opportunity to stay with you. You must, must. Roseville, is it roseville.com? Yes. Roseville.com. Roseville Bed and Roseville Bed and Breakfast dot com. You have been listening to Natisha in the mix with uh, we are Marshall County. Not Marshall County, Marshall, Texas. I see I had to correct myself. Marshall, Texas. Uh -huh. And we have enjoyed being here and I know that you will enjoy staying here. Now as we leave you, let the meditation of your mouth let the words of your mouth be the meditation of your heart and be acceptable into your sight. And also let your light so shine before men that they have, that they may, that men may say, see your good works. You have been listening to Natisha in the Mix. Thank you for joining us. Tune in for our next segment. Where will Natisha be? DCC, Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders often imitated, never equal.